Sojourner Space Rover landed on Mars on July 4th of 1997, establishing another landmark on Mars. As we discussed in the previous video, Sojourner is the first completely isolated rover that does not have any sort of wired connection with Pathfinder. In this video, we plan to discuss the technologies that carried with the Sojourner, which was later used as a baseline for next generation rovers. Let's go through one by one. Traversing an unknown surface on another planet was one of the major challenges that faced when designing the Sojourner. Sojourner had a six wheel design and each wheel diameter was 130mm and 80mm in wide, which was successfully supported to continue its journey. Each wheel can individually work and motors were geared to the ratio 2000 to 1 to provide better climbing performance. Since the Martian surface has rocks everywhere, the rover need to have a proper suspension system to travel over at least small obstacles since it is not possible to find a clear path. Rockerbock suspension system was used to overcome this problem in Sojourner. The next concern is the power. Sojourner had a lightweight solar panel array on top of it. This solar panel array contains more than 200 photovoltaic solar cells. Since Mars is far from the Sun when considering the Earth, the solar panel only able to generate around 16 watts of power. It is one of the major challenges for this mission, however the Sojourner is designed to use this power efficiently to continue its all tasks. Not only solar power, but Sojourner also had a battery pack to perform experiments in nighttime and the morning operations. These batteries were not rechargeable, therefore once it completely discharged, the rover cannot operate in nighttime or early morning. For this mission, the Sojourner only communicate with the lander, then the lander handled the communication with the mission control. Since Sojourner is not a fully automated rover, Mission Control had to send control commands to the Sojourner from the Earth. But it is not a very smooth process because it takes approximately 10 minutes to receive the control commands once it is sent. However, to remotely operate the rover, Mission Control used the images taken from lander and the rover itself, then mapped next few steps that Sojourner can go and then transmit it. It was a really slow process as well as it was only able to communicate with Earth only for limited time window for a day. The next challenge is to survive from nighttime temperature. During the night it can go down to minus 110 degrees Celsius of temperature. Therefore the sensitive components which can be damaged due to the low temperature were protected by containing inside the warm electronic box which has equipped with three radioisotope heater units. The rover carried an alpha proton X-ray spectrometer which has the capability to discover the composition of rocks and soil on Mars. All other equipments on the Sojourner was sent to the Mars to test the performance of each to develop a better rover to explore Mars. After a successful operation, on 27 September 1997, the Sojourner rover ended its service. Originally, it predicted to work only 7 Martian days, but it was able to proceed 83 Martian days. With the data collected from the Sojourner, the twin rovers Spirit and Opportunity were designed to perform more advanced experiment on Mars. So, we will talk about those rovers in next video. Stay with us.